This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a brand new Proven Industries Puck Lock that was sent to me by Steve in Texas. Now, some of you may recall that I recently featured something very similar in video number 901. However, the design has completely changed. It no longer features the six pin pack lock core, but instead has a Make Locks brand disc detainer core. Unfortunately, I do have a couple of concerns about the redesign, the first of which is that this product isn't always locked when you think it is. Let me demonstrate what I mean. We're going to unlock this, and when you pull the core out, it retracts the hidden shackle. Then to lock it up, we're going to push it in, relock it, and you would think that this is secure. However, if I were to take pretty much anything, insert it in that core and pull out, you can see it comes right out. The reason this happens is that there's enough slop in the locking mechanism that the act of rotating the key to lock it misaligns the locking lug from its recess. So when locking, you really need to jiggle the key just to ensure that the lug engages. Second, I'm concerned that the redesign introduced a new drilling vulnerability. Let's open this up so I can show you the issue. I'm going to loosen this little set screw then get the key, and we should be able to pull this core out. Okay, now the shackle is held closed by this little spring-loaded locking lug, and when locked, that lug faces to the front of the lock. That means we can drill a hole right in the front and press down on that locking lug, allowing the shackle to be retracted. I actually demonstrated this attack in video number 905 on this war lock, but this is a hardened steel lock and does create some issues with drilling. The Proven Industries lock is a free machining 303 stainless, which is very easy to drill. I may show that in a future video. The final issue is that Proven advertises its stainless locks as torch resistant, and this has what appears to be a zinc alloy core on the inside. If this is indeed what I think it is, and it is zinc alloy, it is certainly not as heat resistant as the former version. So let's put all of this back together and then I will show you what it takes to pick it open. Okay, I think we have this great. The first thing we need to do is rotate all of the discs as far clockwise as they will go. Once we have that done, I'm going to insert this pick that Bosnian Bill and I made. Pick up disc number one, then we're going to find disc two and get to picking. Okay, little click out of two. Three is loose. So is four. Click out of five, five feels set. Six feels loose. Seven, there we go. Click out of seven. And eight feels loose. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay, two feels set, three is binding, got to click there. Click out of four and a fair bit of movement on the core. We probably have everything set with the exception of disc one. So let's find a zero cut disc, counter rotate disc one, and there we go, we got it open. So as far as pick times go, it's actually very similar to the old version though you do need a specialized tool. On that issue, many of you have asked if these can be bought, and I should have an update for you on that pretty soon, so stay tuned. Though those of you who do follow me on Twitter saw a picture of the Sparrows prototype a few weeks ago, so you can see that over there. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.